Hello world and welcome to another video. Today, let's go ahead and print the values in a linked list. Feel free to pause this video to read through what the problem is asking for, but I find examples a lot more descriptive. So given a linked list as so, we want to print all the values in this linked list, but using an iterative method. The solution is right here, and here's how it works. First, we define a function. You can call it whatever you want, but in this case, I call it print link list, and you pass it the head of your link list. In this case, our head happens to be the A node. Then, in the function, you create a variable called current and set it equal to the head. So now current and head are pointing to the same node. You go into your while loop. The first thing we do is print the value, which in this case happens to be the letter A. Right after we do that, we move to the next line where we say cur equals cur.net. So cur happens to move over. We go back to while loop. We check again. Is cur pointing to null? No, he has a value of B. We print the value and then we move cur to the next. Now cur points at C. This while loop is still going to execute. We're first going to print the value and then move him to the next. At this point, you can kind of see the theme of what is going on. We're just going to keep printing the value he's currently on and moving him to the next until we get to null. So finally, now that cur is pointing to null, we check the while loop one more time. While cur, obviously cur points to null, so this while loop doesn't execute. As such, we have finished printing the values in the linked list. So here's what it looks like in actual code. Obviously, first you're gonna have to create a linked list, but I assume probably if this comes as an interview, you're already given the linked list. The node is the building block of a linked list. So here we create the node class, and then we create the exact linked list we had. So A, B, C, D, E, and then we connect the links. So at this point, we've created this exact linked list you see down here. Now we go ahead and print the value. This is the exact same function we saw on the blackboard, cur equals head, keep moving cur, print the values, and move cur to the next value. I just added this extra for aesthetic reasons so we can see, so it can look more like a linked list. And I added this print none at the end, so at the end of the linked list, it prints the value of none. After running this, this is what the linked list count looks like. That's it for the video, guys. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.